Hey everyone, Anil here and uh, I know I've been making this video after a very long time and uh, it's simply because of my job but uh, finally I'll make some uh, good quality videos from now on and uh, okay so first up uh, today we are going to do a video which is and uh, many of you have asked me to do this video it's actually um, how to unroot how to install the stock rom on it actually i'm currently running on a custom rom which is uh, this gen next rom and i i really don't like this rom it's actually pretty laggy and uh, most of the features doesn't work so it's better to switch to the real one okay so first and foremost we need to have uh, this uh, these two files so I'm gonna talk about these two files in a while uh, but first and foremost let me just concentrate on the phone itself so uh, over here I'm uh okay, so over here I'm running this uh, please wait I'm just gonna set my tripod yeah right so uh, over here I'm uh, running this ROM which is called GNX ROM and uh, I used to think that this is a pretty good ROM but uh, it's not at all good most of the features do doesn't work and uh, placed are also not working let me just show you suppose I want to in install this uh, uh, suppose I want to install this and once I hit install see what happens this is error while retrieving and uh, quite a good of a ROM so that's why I uh, plan to get rid of this so first and foremost we need to uh, unroot so, uh, to unroot we uh, need this super user so press this super user go to settings come down and over here you will see an option called uh, full unroot click on this and it should pop this message beware to reboot your due device afterwards all these things uh, so it's better to read so please read it carefully if clean up succeeds root will be lost and this app will close automatically in few seconds please reboot your device afterwards beware the same kernel automatically reboot at boot are you sure to continue yes uninstalling please wait so that's it uh, and uh, super user is gone now that means we are uh, means running we are not rooted that's the thing so first and foremost we need uh, these two files which is uh, this this uh, stock rom and this odin file to first and foremost just do right click and extract here and it will extract the odin and as well as do the same on the other one itself it might take a little while so just be patient and guys and guys i'm really sorry for uh, not been able to make a good amount of videos as I was really busy with my job but nowadays uh, I've changed the timing of my job and I think I'll be able to make pretty good amount of videos at least one or two every day so let's just wait for this anyways how are you all please tell me it's been a long time I'm making these videos alright so this is the ROM and this is the Odin so all we need is uh, all we need is a USB cable you all know and our phone itself so uh, at first we need to do the phone in download mode so to go to download mode simply just uh, this uh, volume down and this home at the same time so volume up and home and power it's volume down home and power yeah right just hold it like this and we should boot in uh, download mode yes uh, we are in download mode so here it says like uh, volume up to continue so volume up downloading and uh, it says like uh, 
there is no bean counter but the current uh, bean is custom and it will be normal uh, once we flash the stock ROM so to flash the stock ROM now we need to get back to the PC uh, the laptop whatever you want to call it alright uh, so over here uh, we have this Odin folder and over here we have the Odin application just do a right click and select this option run as administrator and it will show this option after that just connect your USB cable like this okay and it should pop on right here and here it says like installing device so let's just put the phone over here and it says like installing device so please wait it should install it right away please wait and uh, let's click over here and uh, here it says like searching for windows updates installing drivers so please wait for a little while and guys one more thing to get this update uh, you need to connect to the internet so just uh, hold on just it's just installing this drivers and one more thing guys this video will be pretty long about uh, 15 minutes or so so please don't scream at me okay I guess it's not connected as of yet let's just uh, try to reconnect it's not connecting wait let's see this time if it doesn't connect then uh, we need to install the Samsung USB drivers let's hope it connects please wait oh god it's not connecting wait alright it's connected finally alright so guys uh, over here you can see this uh, blue color icon that means it's connected on the communication port 8 now we need uh, to mount the firmware which is uh, this one alright so to mount the firmware we need to mount it over here okay so just to verify and uh, just to verify you can go to uh, this uh, website which says like please wait I'll just click this AP and it will s and this is a PDA okay don't worry about uh, going to any website and here it sells like PDA just select desktop and I've put the file and it's on a new folder this is the folder and uh, you'll see only one PDA file so just select this one only don't worry it will uh, not break your device of any, any sort just hold on and it might uh, write like uh, not responding at the top over here so please wait as it's uh, checking the md5 file um, so please wait it might, uh, it might um, take a few more minutes or so so please wait guys one more thing I forgot to mention is that it's always better to do a wipe data factory reset before uh, doing this thing. okay so uh, what we can do is uh, just disconnect this and uh, exit exit uh, this window and uh, if, before doing this uh, let's just uh, do that uh, wipe data factory reset it's always better to do that wait uh, how to re how to remove this wait all right it's removed and uh, 
let's do a wipe data factory reset. To do a wipe data factory reset, we need to go to recovery mode, and to go to recovery mode, uh, we need to uh, press this volume up, home, and power. So volume up, home, and power at the same time. And we will be in recovery mode. So just to release all the buttons and we are in recovery mode at first it will show this type of things don't worry and here it says like wipe data factory reset just press this power button and uh, it's select this option so just please wait all right it says like a uh, wipe is complete do a wipe cache as well Wipe cache takes a few seconds only, don't worry. And uh, here it says like reboot system now. Press that and hold these two buttons. Volume down and home. And you will directly be in download mode. After that, uh, just uh, volume up. Download mode. Now uh, insert, the, insert the back cover. Now we'll connect our device. All right. Now we'll connect our device and uh, we'll flash the ROM now. Enough talking. Enough chit chatting. Enough blabbering. All right. So uh, here it says like uh, it's connected. Now we'll select this AP. It's a PDA and select the firmware and after selecting it will again do that please wait thing so just hold on and uh, I'll flash this uh, this is actually I've downloaded this uh, many of you might ask me where I've downloaded from where I've downloaded this uh, firmware, you can go to download the firmware by going to this uh, by opening a browser. Please wait, I'm just showing you. All right, it's done. Please wait, I'm gonna show you how to. So uh, this is the Firefox browser, and over here you can uh, directly go to like. Sam mobile dot com and hit enter and uh, after going to Sam mobile dot com it uh, the page might take a few minutes or so to load up once it's load up uh, here you'll see an option called uh, firmware just select this firmware and uh, guys be careful that uh, to download the firmware uh, you need to be logged in or you need to join this website so to download a firmware just come down over here and over here we have this search box just write the model number of your phone like uh, say like uh, this model number is uh, SM-G7102 alright so this is the version which it says like uh, AND1 firmware the latest one for India the firmware I'm flashing is uh, is ANC3 that means after that also we got a new firmware that means I'll be able to do our auto update of AND1 all right so uh, here is my phone and uh, now let's just flash let's just flash this ROM it's enough blabbering so please click on start and it will uh, start to flash the firmware and over here you can see like uh, it's flashing all right so it's flashing the firmware as you can see over here so guys it might take around uh, 10 minutes or so so I'll just pause the video over here and after it's uh, done about 99% of uh, when it's done I'll uh, unpause the video all right so thanks for watching this and uh, please wait I'm gonna pause the video now Alright guys, uh, so I'm back and the former flash is about to end as you can see over here. It's already 
the last stage and uh, on my phone it's almost done okay so it might end in please wait for one minute or so actually flashing a Samsung mobile Android Android mobile phone is very easy just download the firmware and flash it via Odin and guys uh, over here he says like it's done and it's starting so just release this cable and uh, let's concentrate over here now all right uh, so once I updated the firmware it's initializing now it's give me a haptic feedback and the phone is restarting please wait lots of smudges on the screen and uh, once uh, you do this it will uh, this is the first boot and it might take around five five to six minutes or so so please be patient don't uh, panic it might take a few more minutes and if it doesn't boot on the first go then the easiest way is to uh, remove the battery and uh, then yeah just remove the battery and then go to recovery mode by pressing this by pressing this uh, volume up and uh, home and power and do a wipe data factory reset and wipe cache and that's it after the restart your phone will boot okay and so that's it for this video if you want i can extend this video a little longer and to show you the home screen so i'm gonna pause this video once again and once it comes to home screen i'll resume it again okay so uh, please hold on all right so we are in the home screen so uh to see if uh, we have finally flashed um perfectly or not and we still able to means is it on the stock or not let's just go to status and over here uh, as you can see it says like device status is official that means we are running on the official ROM and it's not at all rooted anymore all right then we can do a software update as well if you want all right so guys uh that's it for this video if you like this video then please click on like button and i think after watching this video you'll now be able to root and i mean uh, to unroot your galaxy grand 2 quite easily all right so if you like this video then please click on like button and thanks for watching this is on in the take care